Jays and Indians closing out the first half of the season in Cleveland. How about Brett Cecil? He hasn't won since April 15th, and he had trouble in the bottom of the first. Bases loaded, two outs. Austin Kearns. Aaron Hill sticks with it. Into and out of trouble for Mr. Cecil. His counterpart, Carlos Carrasco, into trouble in the top of the third. Here's Eric Thames. There's a high fly ball, deep right field. Austin Kearns looks up. Home run, Eric Thames. His fourth home run, a two-run shot. The Blue Jays jump out on front. The Jays not done against Carrasco in that frame. Runners on the corners. J.P. Aaron Sebia singles to center. Jose Batista scores. Toronto now has a 3-0 lead. The very next batter, Corey Patterson, looking for more with two outs. There's a drive toward the gap bend, right center. That'll get down and go up over the wall. It'll be a ground rule double. It's been a big inning against Carlos Carrasso. It's 5-0 Blue Jays. Plenty of support for Cecil. Bottom five facing Orlando Cabrera. Down goes Cabrera. Then two batters later, Carlos Santana looking. Six Ks on the afternoon for Cecil. Top six, two on, two out. Jose Batista heading to the All-Star game in style. Down the left field line. That'll drive home two more. It was 7 nothing at that point, and the Jays cruise. Final score, 7-1. to one. Toronto wins three straight heading into the break. How about Cecil? His first win in nearly three months. Six innings did not allow an earned run to go along with those aforementioned six Ks. Thames had three hits. Batista and Arancibia a pair each.